Kaesan, the scene of one of the most bitterly fought and highly publicized battles of the Vietnam War. From late January to early April 1968, a determined group of 6,000 Marines and Allied troops held out against a besieging force of 20,000 North Vietnamese. This is the Kaesan story. runs and tactical airlift combined to defeat the North Vietnamese. Major McGuire, United States Army. They said it was a victory through air power, but for us punch on the ground, it was really a victory for the 130 capability to deliver here. They land up in this area and they take fire from the uh, hill surrounding it coming in. They'd be under fire almost constantly and then when they landed, the NDA in the hills and start flipping a few in on them. So we got the name of calling them mortar bait all the time. In response to enemy fire, different methods of delivery were used by the Air Force. Container delivery system. Low altitude parachute extraction. Ground proximity extraction. But beans and bullets were well over two to three hundred tons a day. We got a hell of a lot of in with choppers, but the heavy tonnage requirement was moved by an old 130. And my experience with working with the airlifters during the last stint here, and they supported us in the Delta, back into the Ashaw Valley with the first team. And Louis, they bossed airplanes every trip. But I'll say this much for them. You call them, tell them where it has to be, and they'll put it in. In February and March 1968, the siege was on. Five times the fortress was attacked in battalion strength. Five times the North Vietnamese Army was repelled. Record airstrikes and artillery bombardments prevented the enemy from massing for the all-out attack. Navy and Marine pilots flew more than 24,000 sorties and dropped more than 103,000 tons of bombs. The North Vietnamese troops were forced to dig in, keep their heads down, and concentrate on avoiding being scorched by napalm or pulverized by the bombs. In addition, more than 100,000 rounds of artillery and mortar fire were poured on the enemy. The knockout punch came from 2,500 B-52 bombers. Coming in at 20,000 feet, they literally destroyed the target area with their 500 and 750 pound bombs. During bad weather and at night, the B-52s used radar and a ground control targeting system called SkySpot to continue the attack. On March 27, 1968, the North Vietnamese Army began to withdraw. A few days later, the Marines moved out, opened Highway 9, and linked up with 30,000 relief troops. On April 7, 1968, the relief troops reached Quezon. President Lyndon Baines Johnson. Some have asked what the gallantry of these Marines and airmen accomplished. Why did we choose to pay the price to defend those very hills? The fortress at Quezon straddled critical supply and infiltration routes that the North Vietnamese were using. Route 9, which it commanded, was to be a major avenue for the enemy into populated areas and into the cities of South Vietnam. By pinning down and by decimating two North Vietnamese divisions, the few thousand Marines and their gallant South Vietnamese allies prevented those divisions from entering other major battles 
such as those for Hue and Quang Tri. Some call Khe San the single most important battle of the Vietnam War. Only time will tell. <laughs> 